Secure messaging can be used to securely send documents for approval to anyone inside or outside your organization. Recipients can easily add an electronic signature to these files right from secure messaging. To request an approval on a secure document, start by composing a new message or replying to an existing message. Anyone in the To field will become a required signatory on any attached documents. There are several ways you can add a document for approval to a message. Click Documents for Approval at the top of the message and select your file from your local drive. Alternatively, click anywhere in the Documents for Approval box on the delivery slip and select your file. You will be prompted to confirm that recipients in the To field are correct after clicking Send Secure. Your recipients will receive your secure email and be notified that a document is pending their approval. For advanced approval workflows, several options are available when sending a document for approval including modifying the deadline or designing the document. Designing a document allows you to choose where recipient signatures and initials will appear on the file. Great for legal contracts. Simply drag and drop both signatures and initials for anyone you added in the To field of the secure email. By default, the deadline for signature on any document for approval is 30 days. This can easily be adjusted by selecting deadline from the rollover menu and choosing a date and time. After this time, the document can no longer be signed. When a document requires your approval, it will be clearly indicated on the secure email it is attached to. Using the rollover menu, you can review and sign the document, download the completed file, download in the original format, or view the delivery slip. If you try to download a document before it has been fully signed, you will be notified. When approving a document, all you need to do is type in your name, exactly as it appears when you registered your secure messaging account the first time. You will be asked to confirm your signature, with the opportunity to upload a new signature, draw your signature, or revert to the default. Congratulations! You have now signed the document. When a more advanced document approval has been requested, you will be asked to initial and sign everywhere indicated. You can go line by line to ensure you address each signature individually. Once a document has been approved, you can view its delivery slip as well as the e-signature certificate automatically appended to the end of the document. This certificate contains all of the information and metadata necessary to indicate a legally binding e-signature including timestamps and IP addresses. The delivery slip will contain tracking information including whether this document has been previewed, downloaded, or signed. You will also see full audit information including unique identifier and QR code. Whether it's a legal document or an expense report, you can easily request approvals and electronic signatures on any document through secure messaging. Thanks for watching.